Oh yeah, beginning polynomial functions. During this unit, or this lesson, you're going to be able to classify polynomials, and then you're going to be able to graph polynomial functions and describe in behavior. Here's our warm-up, so I'd like you to pause the video and work these problems and come back and check your answers. So 3 plus 5 minus 7, you're going to end up with just x, 8 minus 7. There's a big difference between x y squared and x squared y. You cannot combine all three of these. Only these last two terms can you combine. So 5 minus 2 is 3. Written in descending order, we're going to move our 7x squared first, and then negative 4x plus x is negative 3x. Very good. Our key concepts for this lesson, a monomial is a real number, a variable, or a product of a real number, and one or more variables with whole number exponents. The degree of a monomial is the exponent of the variable. A polynomial is a monomial or the sum of monomials. And the degree of a polynomial is the largest degree of any term of the polynomial. So what in the world does that all mean? We'll look at that here in a little bit. Standard form of a polynomial arranges the terms by degree in a descending numerical order. So this is showing the function p of x, where n is non, a non-negative integer, and a sub n through a sub o are real numbers. You'll need to have this, uh, notice this in your notes, where the degree of 0 if it's only a constant, so like a 4 or a 5 or a 2, just nothing but that number, it's a degree of 0. If the variable has a degree of 1, it's a linear. If it's 2, it's quadratic, 3 cubic, 4 quartic, and 5 quintic. Now look at the number of terms. If there's one term, it's a monomial, 2 binomial, 3 trinomial, and 4 is a polynomial of 4 terms. So we're to write each polynomial in standard form, which means in descending order by the exponents, and then classify it by degree and by number of terms. So is this one in standard form? Nope, we have to put the x to the third power first, plus 9. So the degree is 3, so it's cubic, and there are two terms, so it's a binomial. So we have a cubic binomial. Is this one in order? Nope. This is to the fourth power, so this term comes first. Be sure to bring the negative sign with it. So negative 3x to the fourth, then final, second is the third, and finally is the second. This is to the fourth power, so it's a quartic, and there's three terms, so it is a trinomial. Now we're to write these in standard form and classify by its degree and number of terms. But first of all, we have to do some work. We have to multiply this x squared by all three terms, then negative 3x by all three terms, the 4 by all three of these terms, and then combine your like terms to get your final polynomial. Put them in a descending order. We've got to the fourth power is the largest exponent, so it's a quartic, and it's got five, so it's a quartic polynomial of five terms. This one we're not multiplying except this second set by negative one. We don't have to multiply every term by every term. So 4y minus, or 4y squared minus y squared, 3y squared. 9y plus 5y is 14y, and 7 minus 6 is 1. The largest uh, exponent is 2, so we've got a quadratic, and there are three terms, so it's a trinomial. On this one, I would first uh, foil out my x plus 2 times my x plus 2. Then I'd multiply x squared by everything you got when you did that, and then a 4 by everything you got. When you finally add all your like terms, you simplify it, it's, you're going to have a quartic and it's a polynomial in five terms. Okay, now we're going to look at end behavior, which is the direction of the graph to the far left and to the far right. 
It makes a difference if the lead, leading coefficient is positive or negative and whether it's an even degree or an odd degree. Look at an even degree. The ends end up in the same direction, either both up or both down. If it's positive, both up, negative, both down. If it's an odd degree, if the, if the leading coefficient is positive, it starts down then goes up. If it's negative, it, it starts up and then goes down. What does that look like? Notice these are going in opposite directions. So you know that you have an odd degree polynomial. And going left to right, you're eventually going up. So this one's positive. So it starts down and then it goes up. Again, your end behavior is going two different directions. So you know that you've got an odd degree. And this one must have a leading coefficient that's negative because it's eventually going downhill. This one's an even degree because the ends are going the same direction. And they're both going up, so it's positive. And this one, both going the same direction, so you have an even degree. They're both going down, so your leading coefficient must be negative. So just by looking at these uh, equations, what is the ending behavior of the graph? So we've got an odd. You know they're going to be going different directions. And it's positive. So you know it's going to start down and it's going to work its way up. It's eventually going to be up because it's positive. Now looking at this one, the degree is even. So you know the ends are both going to be going the same direction and they're going to be going down. Very good. You are ready to begin working on your assignment.